Welcome, in this video I'll demonstrate how the Bizlib Buttons API action can revolutionize your analytics by integrating OpenAI's ChatGPT. By harnessing natural language prompts, we can bring the power of AI to your Bizlib dashboards. Imagine no longer needing to anticipate every possible question your audience may ask. You can simply ask the bot for the answer you need. So if you're tired of constantly planning out every conceivable inquiry, join me as we explore the amazing capabilities of the Bizlib Button with OpenAI. First, create an account for OpenAI and head over to their Playground website, platform.openai.com forward slash playground, and go to Get API Keys, Create a New API Key, and be sure to save your API key for future reference. Now in ClickSense, create a variable for the API integration to work. Then, drag and drop the Vizlib button onto your sheet, and under Button Items, Button, Actions, choose the Vizlib action called API Integration. You can either choose to use the variable that is generated by the Vizsla button, or you can use your own variable. To get the button variable, you can switch on Use Custom Variable and copy the variable that already exists, or insert your own. What we are going to do here is ask questions to OpenAI, and in the Setup Wizard under Params, we are going to change Get to Post and insert HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash API dot OpenAI dot com forward slash V1 forward slash completions into the request URL to get a response from the completions API. Under authorization, change no auth to bearer token and then insert your API key we created earlier in this video from OpenAI. In headers, Visib auto populates based on what you've already selected in authorization. So this can be checked to see if everything has been inputted properly. Go to body and insert the following JSON script found in the description of this YouTube video. In the object model, you can change the AI version to whichever you would like. For example, at the time of this recording, GPT 3.5 Turbo has been released. For the placeholder v your variable name, you need to insert the variable you created earlier here. For your variable to work as a query and not the literal name of your variable, you will need to wrap it in a dollar sign and parentheses. You can change the model, temperature and max tokens if you also choose to. In the final section, settings, please check that the response type is set to JSON. Now save. Great, now that we have set this up, let's test to see if it works. I'm going to include two other visited products, which are the slider and advanced text object. So let me set this up quickly. I have created a very simple app, which compares the difference between two numbers. If I change the slider value, it is also reflected on the text object below. This is not needed, but it allows me to understand the question being asked to OpenAI. This text is displayed by a variable called vPrompt. If we explore the expression behind it, it shows my question. Compare the percentage difference between vRange1 and vRange2. In the button API setup wizard, we now need to insert the variable which displays the message in my example. So this is called vPrompt. Now we need a way to display the response from OpenAI in Click. This is done with another advanced text object. Simply paste in the variable from the visitor button into the text object's expression editor. Now that we have set everything up, we can begin using OpenAI inside Click using Visible products. So define the question and then press the button. OpenAI will respond with an answer. Using the knowledge we now have, let me show you the true power of this. Using the Vizlib input form from the collaboration bundle, we can ask OpenAI questions about our field names. For example, I will select customer ID and OpenAI explains my dataset to me in very basic terms and helps to provide insights. You can also set up an input form to type your query or use the variable input from the click dashboard bundle. Now that you see Invisib's impressive capabilities with the API action, it's time to consider how it can benefit your own analytics. At Vizlib, we've been exploring the capabilities and leveraging this technology to enhance the customer's experience. One of the most exciting use cases we've identified is its use for assisting Click developers with expressing suggestions. But we want to hear from you too. Join the discussion in our community post, linked in the description below, and share your thoughts on how OpenAI can increase productivity, improve customer experience, and provide faster responses to requests. Imagine the possibilities of AI to directly query data models within your visualizations. As a product manager at Vizlib, I'm thrilled about the future of AI and the amazing opportunities it presents. That's why we're heavily investing in our own R&D to ensure our customers can fully capitalize on this technology. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or ideas to share, don't hesitate to reach out to us on LinkedIn or our support pages. And remember to join the conversation in our community post. We can't wait to hear how you plan to use AI in your own analytics.